Hi, I'm Dr. Maggie Park, Public Health Officer for San Joaquin County. You may have heard that the CDC now recommends that people use cloth face coverings when they go out in the public for essential activities like going to the grocery store or bank. This will help keep people who may have COVID-19 but don't feel sick from passing on the virus to others. A cloth face covering can be any fabric such as a scarf, bandana, towel, or old t-shirt that covers your nose, mouth, and chin. A face covering is different from a surgical mask or N95 respirator. These are only for healthcare workers. The CDC and the CDPH have made it very clear that the general public should not be buying masks. If you already have a mask, you can use it, but otherwise stick to a reusable face cloth covering. So I wanna give you some tips. First of all, remember that your best defense against COVID-19 is still staying at home. Wearing something on your face doesn't mean that you can relax with the social distancing and hand washing. Don't let the covering give you a false sense of safety. You still want to keep six feet away from others as best you can, as well as wash your hands often. Those are still the most effective ways to prevent transmission. We want to provide factual information on how to use them correctly. Clean your hands before putting on the face covering by washing them with soap and water or using hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Touch only the ends, straps, or ear loops and put on the face covering by tying around the back of the head or securing the ear loops around the ears. Adjust the area around the bridge of the nose and under the chin for a proper snug fit. Avoid touching your face while you are wearing the face covering. Once you're finished, carefully remove the face covering without touching the front. Put the used face covering immediately into a bag or bin until it can be laundered with detergent and hot water and dried on hot cycle. A face covering should be laundered after each use. Discard cloth face coverings that no longer cover the nose and mouth, have stretched out or damaged ties or straps, cannot stay on the face, or have holes or tears in the fabric.